Hey guys, Jay here, back with another FFB video. On this episode, we're gonna talk about TMR, uh, Trust Master Reward. Uh, what's a TMR? Well, if you go to Units and you click Equip, go to Stats, you'll see that at the bottom, Trust Master Reward. Every unit has a different Trust Master Reward. Um, so let's say there's a really crappy unit you'll never use because he's so bad but for whatever reason he has a really good TMR on him so you don't want to delete that unit you don't want to sell that unit you don't want to merge that unit by accident you're gonna you're gonna put a lock on him so he doesn't get sold delete or merged um, usually the ones that are very valuable you're not gonna find 25 zones or um, to be more precise I'll show you um, probably the most valuable TMR I have is Zidane I have one two three four five six of them one of them fully mastered it the other one's at one percent okay what you want to do is, um, whenever you have a uh, Trust Moogle 10%, Trust Moogle 5%, you want to merge into this unit. So the Trust Moogle will raise this. Okay, enhance. I'll give you an example. So that he's at 1.2%. I got these Moogles by just logging in and doing my dailies. Um, if you fuse another one exact copy of him together, that gives him 5%. But you might not want to do that because you want to save all the dual wheels. Think very carefully before you fuse a similar unit. They get 5%, but you lose that unit forever. And maybe you want a second dual wheel. It's so important. I locked all my Zidane's. And I myself already have three dual wheels. Now if I press Fuse. They'll get 3%. Previously he was at 1.2. So that's 4.2%. So we do it all the way to the level 100. You'll get 5% uh, Moogles from doing some events. 5% uh, Moogles if you... Um, finish the uh, expedition, 10% Moogles for certain events, 10% Moogle for doing the arena. So all these Moogles will add up. When I first started playing, I didn't TMM, TMR farm. I just use um, macro, f oh, uh, no, not macro, but I just fused all my um, uh, Moogles together until eventually it became 100%. Now, um, okay, so what you asked me, oh, what if I don't have any Moogles, so they'll never level up. Well, there's another way. Uh, this is the most very tedious. You go to the beginner aisle, beginner dungeon, and you do Earth Swine entrance. You can bring any friend. I already have a party that I want their TMRs. Rasa will give me 30%. Um, Nine will give me uh, double experience points. Uh, Midas will give me double experience points. Uh, she will give me 30% uh, attack and 15% evade. So all these are useful units. Um, I was never going to do Nine and Midas because I didn't feel it was useful. Well, why? They, you only get double EXP if you run a dungeon and the EXP from the dungeon. I usually just level up a unit by fusing Gigantars. I rarely run a dungeon to um, level them up to use. I only, um, I only do it for the units I'm going to level up and sell. 
All right, so this will take many battles, maybe up to a thousand. I'm not kidding you. I don't have the exact numbers, but it takes a lot. Keep on doing it until it reaches a hundred. As you can see, this can take uh, forever. But eventually, you will need to do it because. My Excalibur is a TMR, my Ruben is a TMR, Katana Mastery is a TMR, Sworn Six Prime TMR. So most of uh, my abilities are TMRs. Some are from Trial Bosses, Large Sword Mastery. I got that from the Giga Mesh uh, Trial. Even my next attacker, yeah, Excalibur TMR, Ribbon is a TMR, Championship Belt is a TMR. And that's a TMR, TMR, T uh, no, I got that from uh, defeating Aegeon, took me 5 hours. So half my uh, equipment is TMRs, so you realize how important TMRs are. Now every time you run a dungeon, you have a small chance to get 0.1%. Only Raster Guard this time, the rest of the units didn't even get anything. There's only a small chance they'll get 0.1%. Uh, so you can see how long this will take. If you do this, this will take you forever. Um, now, th if you go to Reddit and read up on uh, TMR Macro, what Macro does is it's, uh, it automatically presses everything for you. You can just leave the game running in the background. Uh, Gumi does not recommend it. And it's against their uh, terms of service, so use it at your own risk. Okay, let's talk about some of the uh, TMRs that I put. My favorite is Genji Glove. Genji Glove, um, it gives you 10% uh, attack, 10% magic, and dual wield, which means I can equip another weapon on his on his hand. Not only does that increase attack, it allows him to attack twice. So that's like having two Dark Veritas on my team. So dual wield is super important. Now the problem with Genji Glove is um, only Gilgamesh has him and he's a 5 star unit. So he's hard to get. So uh, most people just um, get Zidane. I showed you Sadine earlier and master him and get dual wield. Um, my second favorite is Riku's pouch. When Riku came in the game she broke the game. She had damage reduction, elemental reduction, she can re-raise the whole, whole party. If that wasn't enough, her pouch is uh, insanely strong. Riku's pouch. Chaos Grenade, inflict random status to all the enemies. Panacea, um, cheers the party's ailments, including stone. Uh, yeah, a lot of earlier heal spells cannot cure stone. Eccentric, will boost your limit break bar for the whole party faster. Uh, in certain um, events or trials, you will need that skill. So that's, you get three awesome skills on one item. That's just ridiculous.
Okay, my next favorite spell is Excalibur. Uh, reason I have Excalibur is because Cecil, that's Cecil's TMR. Cecil's very easy to get. So, and then so if I have Cecil and he's very easy to get, and my friend has uh, Excalibur too, we can do something called chaining. When an uh, item both has uh, light damage, they can chain and do massive amount of damage. So that's why I like Excalibur. It's just because it's so common and everybody can get it. Um, at the time, Katana Mastery, it boosts your Katana by uh, 50%. Increase your attack by 50%. So Katana Mastery is awesome too. If you want higher attack. Um, another thing is uh, Ribbon. Uh, ribbon is, is, is awesome too. Um, well, enough said. It just uh, blocks out all status, status ailments. But the main thing is you want dual wield. That's like having another party member on your team and another attack. Uh, when the game first started, I really liked dual cast. But now it's kind of uh, faded away because you can get dual cast uh, white magic with uh, the Rod Sheraton drops you. Uh, let me see if I can find her. Okay, Lead Meal as dual cast allows you to uh, use magic twice in one turn. Uh, back then, that was so useful. You could double cast Kirag Kiraga. Uh, now, a lot of the top healers have nat natural dual cast already within them. So that's why it's fallen out of favor. So, I have three Lead Mills. I still haven't erased them or combined them or sold them. Just in case I need dual cast for whatever reason, who knows? A lot of um, uh, Kef Kefka, yes, Kefka, I remember him. <laughs> um, ribbon, Kefka has a ribbon. Blocks out all status ailments. All my sedanes for dual wheel. Um, I was planning to get my third Excalibur with Cecil. That should be coming soon. So yeah, that does it for TMR. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, comment below. Uh, if you have anything to add, please comment below. Uh, please like and subscribe if you have time. Thank you for watching.